Dry the record base thoroughly as wax will not adhere to a wet surface. Roughen the area of the record base where the wax will be adapted. Soften one end of the sticky wax slowly over a Bunsen burner flame. Place the sticky wax over the ridge crest area of the record base. Uniformly soften a sheet of hard pink base plate wax. Flame the wax in a Bunsen burner flame slowly by passing the wax quickly through the flame many times. When the wax is thoroughly softened, fold the wax, continue to flame the wax to soften it, repeat the folding and warming until the entire sheet of wax is used. Form the wax into a horseshoe shape and adapt the wax to the record base. Seal it to the record base with a molten wax using a hot spatula. Add wax as needed to contour the rim. The rim should approximate the position of the natural teeth. Remember, the facial surfaces of the central incisors are 5 to 9 mm anterior to the center of the incisive papilla. Use a pancake turner or a heated wax spatula to develop a flat occlusal plane. The width of the occlusion rim in the molar area is 8 to 10 mm, 5 to 7 mm in the premolar region, and 3 to 5 mm in the anterior. The facial surface of the wax rim is approximately 5 to 9 mm anterior to the center of the depression of the incisive papilla. The posterior vertical height measuring from the basal seat surface of the tuberosity to the occlusal plane is 8 to 10 mm. Anteriorly, the rim is positioned slightly labial to the residual ridge. The rim will measure 22 mm from the anterior labial border to the incisal edge. The rim must be clean, neat, and of proper dimensions and contour.